Oh, you're right, guys. Some time back, I joined uh, Garden Organic. And one of the things you can do as a member is volunteer for experiments or trials. And you know me with trials, and I don't mean the police type. <laughs> um, yeah, I love a trial. And this one is testing a novel biostimulant. I'll just read this very, very quickly. Uh, Brassica is one of the most widely grown groups of crops, but they're all also the most prone to pests. The flea beetle is one pest that has been on the increase in the last few years, and don't we know it. There are many species of flea beetles, and the adults easily recognisable as shiny little black beetles that jump around like fleas. So and so and so and so. They pepper the leaves with lots of small holes, so can render the Brassica salad leaf crops such as rocket and mazuna inedible. Yep, I think we'll all agree with that. We would like to test a new organic biostimulant that contains chitin and has the potential to improve a plant's resilience against the flea beetle and a number of other pests such as slugs and aphids. It has shown some effects already in trials and uses an innovative approach focusing on the defences of the plant rather than trying to kill the pests. So the trial, the experiment is threefold as a control which is untreated compost, untreated seed. The second pot is untreated seed with treated compost. And the third one is the treatment is on the seed and untreated compost. And then loads and loads of observing and recording the results and sending them off. So I'm just going to get started now and uh, well, I'll talk you through it. What I'm going to do first of all though, first of all, I'm sure that they don't want, you know, big lumps of stick in it. So I'm just going to go through the compost very quickly as I fill the, um, the pots up and I'll label them. Not too bad, not too bad. I'll do, let's put that down there a minute. This is uh, B&Q. Yeah, this is, sorry, I'm thinking of myself. This is B&Q, their new one. What's it called now? Good home, good home. They've gone away from Verve, I don't know why. Must be some reason, I suppose. So I'm just gonna fill it up to the line. I'll do. Leave that in there for a minute. And what I did find just now before I, uh, as I tipped it into the tray actually, piece of plastic, piece of aluminium, but not too bad, not too bad. Right, so let's get the instructions again. Label the pots. One, control. I was all right on them, not use the... So, one. Control, and I'll put it on both sides. Two. Soil treatment. I can't even read my own writing, guys. And number three. Seed treatment. No, number one goes there. It's bugging me, that. Yeah, it's back to the front, isn't it? <laughs> in pot two, apply the soil treatment by lightly mixing it into the top third of your compost. Right, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to pot two, mix the treatment into the top third. So I'm going to take some out. That's the easiest way, isn't it? That's about a third. Looks a little bit like charge. Smells a little bit like charge as well. Right. Pretty well mixed. Yeah, say chitin. A chitin is what? It's the isn't it the shell or something? Beetles. Okay, that's got that in. Instructions again. So 20 seeds in each pot using the appropriate packet. Oh, it is. It actually says frass. 
agri-grub ag agri for us. Pot one, untreated seed. Are there 20 seeds in here then? Untreated seeds. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And pot three treated seeds. Oh, these look they look coated in eighteen nineteen twenty. There we are then. Just need to record the start date and as soon as they uh, they start germinating I got to record how many germinate each day. And then, uh, once they start growing, record the damage from slugs, flea beetles and aphids. Why not do that? That was quite moist anyway. And I do get flea beetles, so I'll be interested to see this. I just planted some uh, oh, the, 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 the one bock, I got it right, I just planted the one bock at the allotment and there's quite a few holes in the leaves. Doesn't matter for me, so eat it. Okay guys, let's see how we get on, eh? Well, here's the three pots sat on my little stand at the front garden. Uh, I get a feeling it's not going too well. The, uh, the seeds germinate in the control pot after day four and there was 10 on the first day and they just carried on going there was 19 in the end the treated compost were slower to get going and they were a day behind and they peaked at 11 seeds germinated out of the 20 and died back to 10 so we lost one somewhere and the seed treatment lot on the right well they just popped up in dribs and drabs when they felt like it and they peaked at seven and fell back to five so we lost two of those as well we're not doing very well with the uh, the germination of the treated stuff. Let's hope they fare better with the pests. <laughs>